Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to convert your standard CSM motion capture files into .bit which you can use on a biped or a cat rig depending on what you want to do. So if you just go to create systems biped, I usually like to use drag position so it keeps it at a set scale so I don't need to adjust heights every time. As long as you've got your biped selected like I have here, click on the pelvis wherever. If you go over to the motion tab and you go all the way down to motion tap capture it may not be um, opened up for you but just open it out then you can go to load motion capture file click there you may need to change the file type to CSM if if not already so then you're gonna want to choose a motion capture file that you've got so here's a range of motion captures that I did in um, a studio so if I open up my flinch sometimes it brings up a warning talking about some bones and unrecognized but use okay with that and it should be fine now most of these settings on here are set standard really you can put keyframe reduction on if you don't want so many keyframes down at the bottom of the um, timeline but for my sake for showing you this it doesn't really matter so if you just press ok your biped will change position and if we scrub across the timeline you can see that it's just a range of the um, motion capture that I did so once you've got that on your biped's got all the motion capture on if you go up to biped still on the motion tab you click save file and then you if you click your drop down save it as dot bip you can save it as flinch whatever you want and there we go you can use it on your cat rig later on cheers